So you made it all the way to Butterfly, but this old lady is whooping your ass. You don't think you can beat her. You're about to give up, and that's why you're here. Well, I'm here to tell you what you're doing wrong. Welcome to the Get Good Guide for Lady Butterfly. For Lady Butterfly, there's only one real thing you need, and that is going to be your shurikens. It doesn't matter which shuriken you use, whether it's the baseline loaded shuriken, or all the way up to a lazulite shuriken, we're going to be using the shuriken to interrupt her while she is in the air and bringing her back down to the ground. In addition to that, one item which can help with this fight greatly is Snap Seeds. If you have Snap Seeds, you can use these to remove the illusions she creates, although they are not necessary for the fight as there are other ways to take care of the illusions. Now the illusions will only occur in Phase 2 of the fight. Lady Butterfly will snap her fingers, creating a ghostly army. Now you can fight these enemies to kill them, you can use the Snap Seed to dispel them, or alternatively you can just avoid them outright. After roughly 20 seconds, Lady Butterfly will snap her fingers again, and every remaining phantom will turn into a phantom butterfly that will chase you, similar to the ones you just saw that go off when she throws her kunai at you. You can either just run in a large circle to avoid these, or alternatively, just hide behind a pillar and let it soak up all the damage. The most important part of the Lady Butterfly encounter is timing a shurikens to hit her as she's either about to jump off a wire, or while she is mid-air jumping between wires. If you hit her while she's standing on a wire, she'll deflect your shuriken and it will do nothing. Practicing and getting down this timing is the single most important thing in this fight, and will make a huge difference in whether this fight is extremely difficult or a cakewalk. One thing that I find useful in getting down my timing at least is to throw out a feeler shuriken while she's standing on a wire, and then do a follow-up as she'll typically jump a short duration after deflecting one. Spamming shurikens, however, is a bad strategy, and you'll run out of them before you have a chance to actually interrupt her. As for perilous attacks, there are two moves to watch out for. The first is going to be an aerial-based grab where she'll come down from above. You can avoid this by stepping backwards as soon as she is coming towards you after you see the red kanji. The second is going to be a sweeping-based attack. As with all sweep attacks, you can simply avoid this by jumping up and then bouncing off of her head for some bonus posture damage. The last thing I want to mention is Nightjar Slash Spam. You can pick this ability up in the Prosthetic Arch Tree, and it's incredibly effective at locking down Lady Butterfly and progressing her towards a death blow. While it is an effective way to get past this encounter, ultimately I don't like recommending it, as I feel spamming on one ability as a crutch ultimately doesn't allow you to improve and grow as a player. Now that we've discussed everything, it's time to pull it together. The last piece of advice I want to give here is constant aggression. One of the easiest ways to win this fight is going to be via a death blow posture, and while we're going to be getting lots of posture gain via our shurikens, if you're not staying on the boss, you ultimately won't build up that posture gauge. To that extent, this fight is ultimately going to be a combination of both attacks and deflects, and that's going to be the majority of what I'm doing. Now, I know that sounds like common sense, but you'll notice that as I fight here, I'm either attacking or I'm getting ready to deflect. The second that she forces one of my attacks off, like right there, I'm preparing to deflect. You'll notice it's a rhythm. I got three hits, and then I'm being ready to deflect. Even if she doesn't fall down out of midair, you still cause a large amount of posture damage to her. You can see just how effective that tempo is. Just staying on the boss with lots of aggression, getting in three attacks, when she forces your blade off, that's when you want to get ready to deflect. For phase two, you can already see her right up there. I would suggest getting over here in advance so that when the phase starts, you can already get on her and not give her a chance to summon immediately. If she does a multi-attack, you can actually spam L1 to deflect all of those. As mentioned, if she gets off a summon, can use Snap Seeds to dispel them all and trivialize the summons. The butterflies are considered unblockable. Dodge them. Same tempo. One, two, three, deflect. you'll notice, all I'm doing here is just staying aggressive on the boss. I'm keeping up that 1-2-3 deflect rhythm. Anytime she tries to jump, I'm waiting for my opportunity to get off the shuriken. And 
And there's the kill. All in all, it's not that bad of an encounter. As I mentioned, the most important things here are going to be timing your shurikens to take out Lady Butterfly, and then that constant tempo you saw me doing, with three attacks and then getting ready to deflect. The best way to get the timing down for it is anytime she forces your blade off, anytime it feels like you can't hit R1 to attack again, that's when you want to prepare to deflect. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, got good, and killed Lady Butterfly yourself. Make sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys soon enough with another boss.